So we're going to calculate and use the gradient in a function with three variables. And it's going to be a simple looking function because I'm kind of using this as an introduction to my next topic as well. It's a transition. So f of x, y, z is x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the gradient to find the normal vector again, but in a three variable case. So we're going to start by looking at the level curve when the function f is equal to 9 or translation x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 9. Whoa! Hold on a second here. That is a sphere. That is no curve. Curves um, with variables like this, they would only have two variables. The three variable XYZ case is going to be a surface. So this sphere, this sphere There is Z, and there is X, and there is Y, has a radius of 3. Whoops, that 3 should be here. Okay, right there. All right. But the gradient is still going to do what it did in two dimensions, but now in a three-dimensional model the gradient is going to give me a vector that is normal to the surface. So for example, the x, y, and z axis, when they come out, they're normal to the surface at those points. So let's go ahead and do the gradient calculation. The gradient of f of x, y, z, and the x parcel derivative is 2x and the y partial derivative is 2y and the z partial derivative is 2z and let me just show you take it for a test drive um, if we were looking for the normal vector here the full coordinates of that point are 0 3 0 that's a point on the sphere, on the surface. The vector would be 2, nope, 0, because 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 3 is 6. I so want to write a 2 down, apparently. And 2 times 0 is 0. So what we would be drawing is a vector that goes 6 units so I guess it would end 9 units over on the y-axis. So 3 plus 6 would be 9 in the direction of the y-axis. Now, if you've been around with me for a while, then you already know that drawing this in three dimensions is not likely going to be the problem, but we're going to use the vector for something. Now, can you find some other point on the sphere that's not on the x, y, or z axis? I mean, could you find other coordinates we could use? So, how about this one? I wonder if we use the point 1, comma, 2, comma, negative 2. If I use my function here, 1 comma 2 comma negative 2, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, negative 2 squared is 4, aha, that's 9. That would be on my level surface. 
So 1, 2, negative 2, it might be like right down here, southern hemisphere. The gradient of that point, sorry, at that point on this surface, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. That would be a vector that points directly out of this point in the x, y, but negative z direction. That would be normal to this level surface at the point 1, 2, negative 2. Now, I said this is sort of a preview for things to come. In order to write equations of tangent lines in the beginning of calculus, we use the derivative. Now, what kinds of three-dimensional graphs have we been writing equations of in this course? Well, that's right. We have written equations of the line normal to something normal to the plane. We've also written equations of planes. We are going to move into writing the equation of the tangent plane at a point on a surface or the line that is normal to the surface at a point. But we need the gradient in order to do that. So stick around and we will move into that topic. It's not a very long topic but it is rather significant. See you then.